All right, everyone. So um, in this lab, we are looking at creating a couple of custom functions. And again, this is lab uh, 3.4. Um, the entire point of this lab is basically to create these uh, six functions you can see right here that I'm dragging around. Um, and the majority of what you're gonna see is really stuff that you've probably seen before. And it's really about putting it inside custom functions and how to sort of use the uh, different pieces of a custom function to make these uh, pieces of code usable. So with that being said, um, there's a lot that goes into each of these functions. So I'm gonna show it rather than going through each one of them. That way I don't waste too much time, um, you know, boring you to death on this video. But um, basically the first one we wanna see, um, we wanna write a custom snap reporter block that we call minimum that determines uh, which of the two numbers we have that is shorter. So as you can see, you create the uh, name right here called min, um, create a variable called number one and number two. And then we say if number one equals number two, we say number one um, just because we can say either number if they're equal. And we basically test and see which one is greater right here. Um, one thing that I do in this uh, piece of script that you may, you may find a different way to do um, and just totally fair is that we say basically if number one is greater than number two, we say number two because we know that number two is smaller and then if not, we say number one. Um, it kind of it, it assumes that the only um, other option is that number one is smaller, um, which I believe to be true on a pretty basic level. Uh, I don't really think it can get more complicated than that. The second one that we have is max, which is more or less kind of the opposite of min. Um, again, right here, if number one is greater than number two, say number one and then else say number two. So pretty straightforward. Um, between is the next thing that we wanna take a look at. So we basically wanna see if a number is in between or equal to um, two sets of numbers that we put in. So you can see here number one and number two are the two uh, outer ranges with mid number being the one that we wanna look at being in between. Um, here, I've set up this pretty long um, kind of condition that I felt was the best way to look at it. So here I see if any of the numbers pretty much are equal, um, we report uh, true. If um, mid number is greater than number one, so basically I look at are the numbers equal one, and then the second part that I look at that I'll just drag out right here is the in-between portion. So we say if mid number is greater than number one and less than number two, or greater than number two and less than number one. Uh, the reason I did it like this is because there really was no specification for um, which numbers had to be beginning and ending in the way that I did it. We're gonna go into control Z right here. Is uh, that we didn't really specify which numbers were the upper and lower bound, so I made it so that I could test either. Um, but again, these numbers have to be uh, completely inclusive, so I can't like, you know, these two aren't always true. One of them has to be true and one of them can't be is kind of the way that I set it up. Um, and again, of course, as always, if you are like, hey, that's totally wrong, or if you have a better solution, please do let me know um, down in the comments beneath the video. Uh, the th fourth one that I have is as least as long as. We take a word and we take a number of letters. So here we say if length of word, which is actually, guess what, I did that wrong. If the length of the word is equal to letters, we say true for two seconds. If not, we say false. Um, pretty straightforward. Again, um, you know, a lot of these custom functions, folks, is to basically make um, something that is repeatable or at least something that, you know, maybe we could use across a couple different scenarios um, useful. So if you ever come into a situation later where you're like, hey, you know, I need something to compare the size of two words, guess what? You've already done that in this lab. You can absolutely reuse this code at any time that you want. Um, finally, we have distance right here. So this takes in two um, positions and computes the distance from the sprite, or at least the way that I understood it. it. Computes the distance from the sprite to these coordinates locations. So here you can see I'm putting in X position and Y position, and I'm basically just saying, give me the square root, and then I do the calculation right here for two seconds. Of course, here I say it, um, but in some cases you may want to basically give the user value. Um, and let's say, you know, maybe we had a game and we want to say, hey, if something is too close, you know, we're going to reset the game um, or something like that. Maybe you could basically plug in, I'm going to click cancel. Um, and I'm just going to show you with the actual sprite itself, I could plug in the X coordinates and the Y coordinates right here. Of course, this will give me zero because it's the exact same coordinates that I already have. Um, but if I had another sprite, I could basically say, hey, you know what, give me the X position of this other sprite 
and then that's what I want to compare the distance to. We'll pull those back out. And then finally, I have contains letter, um, which is pretty simple. Basically, um, we take the uh, length of the word, we iterate from I equals one to the length of that word. So if it's seven letters, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for each letter of that word, we basically say um, true for two seconds, which I actually don't think, da, da, da. oh no, okay, I'm sorry. Basically what we're checking is we're saying if the length I of word is equal to letters, which is the letter that we input, then we'd say true. So we iterate over the length of word for every single um, section of that word and we check it against that final letter. Again, this is just another, um, you know, these are all things you probably know how to do. You've probably seen from math. Uh, it's pretty much simple conditional logic, but um, you know, the whole point of this is to, you know, continue practicing using um, functions and to kind of take the knowledge that you've learned of creating functions and uh, build these more complicated blocks. So that being said, that is lab 3.4.